Peace be with you. My name is Mark Nemo, Director for Faith Formation here at St. Columbanus Church and Augusta Stolton Catholic Academy. And uh, as we continue to deal with this coronavirus pandemic, you know, I'd like to bring you a word of hope. And where do we turn? We turn to the scriptures often to, to receive a word of consolation, a word of hope. One thing I'd like to share with you is that the biblical authors, if you like, those who, who gave us the scriptures, often speak in, in metaphors, in images, in pictures. And, and one scripture that has touched me in this time of disturbance, if you like, is, is the scripture of Hebrews chapter 6, reading from verse 17 through to 20. Let's listen to it. Hebrews chapter 6. It says, so when God wanted to give the heirs of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose, he intervened with an oath, so that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies be before us. This we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil, where Jesus has entered on our behalf as forerunner, becoming high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. And I like this, you know, because this is, this is an image of an anchor. You know, this is an image of an anchor. This is a device that's often attached to a ship, you know, and, and it helps the ship kind of, you know, stand stable in the midst of stormy waters and all that. You know, we, we don't want to get into the details and all about why would the writer of Hebrews use this kind of image or this metaphor? He says, this we have as an anchor of the soul. What is it that we have? The promise that Jesus makes to us, his children. That's, that's something you can hang on, something you can confidently rely on, especially during stormy waters and all that. And the context, again, within which these, uh, if you like, Jewish uh, converts to Christianity were battling with is simply this you know they had they had had to leave if you like the, their, their, their faith the, the, the faith of their fathers Judaism and embrace this new faith and at this time it's like they were they were having what you would call a crisis of faith hmm? what what they previously knew what they had put their hope in what they had put their trust in what they had put their faith in the law the prophets, sacrifice, and all that. He, here they were receiving this new teaching that says Jesus was now the Messiah, Yeshua Mashiach, that he was, he was the one who had come to fulfill the law, the prophets, and everything. And that, that brought a little bit of an uncertainty in, in their belief, if you like, their ideology, what, what gave them meaning and purpose. And so if you like, they were in stormy waters. And they needed an anchor. And the promise of God, the writer of the letter to the Hebrews says, is the anchor. Anchor for the soul. And so, so if, if, if you like, the question that I'd like to ask you and I right now as we, we're faced with this storm is, do you have an anchor for your soul? And I want to propose that God is our anchor. That this anchor has a name. The name is Jesus. He's the word that became flesh. He's the one that came to fulfill all of God's promises to us. So Jesus is an anchor. And so the question is, are you in stormy waters? If you like, our life becomes something like a ship right now. Maybe this is a time for you and I to turn and say, Jesus, be an anchor for my soul in these troubling times. 
That could be a prayer that you could reflect on every day. Be an anchor for me. Be an anchor. I need something to help me find stability, make sense of all that is happening around me. Because everything seems to be falling apart. And you are the anchor for my soul. So peace be with you. Continue to reflect on this. If Jesus is your anchor, if God's promises are, uh, is what is your anchor, then you know that you can stand within this because this storm too will pass away. God bless you.